Hi there, my name is Alana and today we're going to be unboxing a mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte's Icons mystery box available uh, for Black Friday, sort of Cyber Monday. Honestly, is Black Friday a day anymore because it just feels like deals are starting earlier and earlier. But anyways, this is her Black Friday 2021 box. Charlotte always does mystery boxes for Black Friday. She does them a couple of other times throughout the year and I always find they're a great value. Now, if you're new to my channel, which you might be because honestly, every time I do one of these unboxings, I get lots of new people checking out. Hi, my name's Alana and I am a Charlotte Tilbury fanatic. If you love Charlotte Tilbury luxury makeup and a little sprinkling of luxury handbags, I think you're gonna like it here. And hey, if you just like pink Christmas trees, like subscribe, you know, I, I put a lot of work into that, okay? But anyways, I know why you're here. I know why I'm here. We're gonna unbox this in two seconds. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on pricing and availability. So for Black Friday 2021, Charlotte has released two mystery boxes. First up, we have Charlotte's Icon Mystery Box, retails at $2.54 Canadian. It is a $509 value for nine items. There's also a slightly less expensive, well, like $100 less expensive, so like noticeably less expensive box. That is Charlotte's Day to Disco Mystery Box, and that one's really neat. First of all, it is $155, seven items, with a $315 value, but what makes it really neat is it includes one of my all-time favorite products, and that is the Hollywood Bronze and Glow. But because Bronze and Glow is available in two different shades, you can actually select if you are a light medium or medium to deep. So I think that is really great that there's a little bit of customization available based on skin tone. Now, Charlotte's Icon Mystery Box, that's the box we're talking about today. The two spoiler items were a full size of Magic Cream, which is something I love as a winter moisturizer. I've been using it, you know, on and off for years, but especially in the winter here in Canada. And then it also includes the Pillow Talk palette of pops. Now, when she does these deals for Black Friday, the deal gets even better because she has various gift with purchases depending on what you spend. So if you spend $145, which you will um, purchasing the smaller, um, the smaller mystery box, you are going to get a free full-size Walk of No Shame eyeshadow quad, which is one of her iconic shades. If you spend $225, which you will if you purchase the larger mystery box that we're going to unbox in literally moments. Then in addition to the full-size Walk of No Shame, you also get the Glowing Gen Lipstick from her Hot Lips 2 collection, which is a lipstick I have and love. It's one of my go-tos from Charlotte. And if you spend $295, then in addition to those two, you also get a Pillow Talk blush, uh, your choice, either Pillow Talk or Pillow Talk Intense. So, I already actually got that deal. Um, the box is waiting at my parents' house because there's some stocking stuffers for me and my mom and my brother's girlfriend. So let's unbox this beautiful box. I'm so excited, I haven't peeked. The only thing I did is I took it out of the packaging. Her mystery boxes always come. This beautiful, sturdy, sturdy box, um, which I love for gifting, but I also love for like stacking up behind me in case people are like, does Alana like Charlotte Tilbury? And I can be like, girl, I do. So. The only thing I did when I opened it up is I put the freebies on top. So I have a sample of Magic Eye Rescue, which is great for travel, a sample of Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes, and then I have my two freebies, which is the Walk of No Shame and Glowing Gen. Now I already have both of these products in my collection, so I'll either put those on my Poshmark or put them in a giveaway. We're gonna chat a little bit more about giveaways at the end of this video. Okay, so there is the box. Very, very beautiful. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Okay. Okay. Okay, so at first glance, I'm seeing a lot of products I already have, um, which I just want to be clear that I have, I'm going to leave some videos linked down below where you can get a sense of how big my Charlotte collection is, um, but I fully expect every time I purchase a mystery box, I fully expect to get duplicates, and I purchase this knowing that I'm getting duplicates, I purchase it for my channel so I can unbox it with you guys and hopefully help you guys out. Um, and then it's just a great way for me to have some things to include in my giveaways for the holidays and um, some things I just sell on my Poshmark. So, you know, it, it, it works out, okay? So first up, jumping on at me, we have Charlotte Tilbury's Scent of a Dream perfume. Now, this perfume is beautiful. I'm gonna go grab mine. Okay, so this is the same size. This is my perfume. Um, let's give it a spritz. First of all, you'll see it has just like a beautiful like spritzing, but I'm just gonna like, let's coat myself in this, you know, let's, I'm just gonna pretend that you can smell it through the camera. So, I mean, the first thing with this bottle 
it gives me major Princess Jasmine vibes. I think it is so beautiful to have on your vanity. And it has just like this beautiful, like, the first thing I always think of is Jasmine with this scent that just kind of like wraps you around like a, like a, like a cashmere hug. So I love this perfume. I do use it frequently. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this so I can have a backup. Um, this isn't really a good candidate for giveaways for me only because um, if I have an international winner, there's like sometimes rules about like shipping alcohol and you know, there's alcohol and perfume. So I might, might gift this on. Um, I think I got one as an add-on. It was sort of like a spend, it was one of those things like if you spent a certain amount, you got this for free. I think it was last holiday and I did gift this to my mom. So she doesn't need another one. So I'm gonna decide if I'm keeping this or passing it on, but a fantastic value to get in your box. One thing that's kind of funny, it's not that funny um, because I'm freezing, but we went away for the weekend to visit some friends and um, our house was really warm. So I put the temperature down a little bit, but I came back and it was 10 degrees Celsius. So um, I'm freezing. <laughs> so I have my tea. This is a Starbucks Christmas mug and I have a David's Tea uh, Green Dragon Jasmine inside. So I'm just kind of warming up my fingers because I kind of can't feel them. Also, there's a ton of snow outside. Welcome to Canada. Okay, so let's get out of the way the two items that I knew I was getting. So we have our magic cream, just opening that up. And this is a great size. This is the, I believe it's a 50 mil. Um, this is a fantastic, let's see, is it 50 mil? Yeah, it's 50 mil or 1.7 ounces. So really, really enjoy, um, yeah, I really enjoy Magic Cream. I find it's very thick, and so I don't love it as much in the summer, but in winter, I just love how it hydrates my skin. I think it just really brightens. I love using it as a base for makeup. So I've actually almost finished up the current Magic Cream I'm working on. So one of the reasons I did purchase this box over the other one is because I'm like, well, I need a backup anyways. Okay, and then we have the palette of Pops in Pillow Talk. Now, this is actually a palette I don't already own, which is pretty crazy for me. Um, the reason I don't own it is I'm not really a fan of the palette of pop concept, but we're gonna swatch it. Um, I don't really like the pops in her eyeshadows very much. Okay, so it's just a really quick swatch on my hand. I don't really like her palette of pops very much because I don't really like the pops in her eyeshadow quads in general. So it's like, why would I want a whole palette of them? I just find that while they're very shimmery, they're not particularly pigmented and they don't really, um, I don't think the sparkle is like that amazing. And honestly, I just think like when I'm looking at a quad, um, I consider myself a pretty regular makeup consumer. I'm not into like bold looks. Like th this is how I do my makeup. <laughs> um, and anyways, I don't really like having to like pop into different palettes or singles to create a look. So I'm gonna give this a fair shot, um, but the reason I don't already own it is I, I don't want to own it. Okay, so that's okay. Let's see what we got next. Okay, so we've got a blush. This is their Cheek to Chic, and it is in the shade Pillow Talk. Okay, so we've got the Pillow Talk blush here. Pretty, pretty iconic um, blush, pretty popular. Um, I obviously own this. Um, the only thought I have with Charlotte is, you know, if you had purchased this set, um, if you had purchased this set and then honestly, if you bought like any additional item, I just, there wasn't really another item I wanted to buy, but if you bought like any additional item, you would have been able to get this for free. So you could have ended up with two of them. So my feedback for Charlotte is I would have preferred, I love her blush, but I would have preferred if she had just used literally any other blush shade, um, just so that way somebody didn't purchase this and then say, add it on a lipstick and ended up with two of them. So just putting that out there. Um, okay. So then we've got the Tinted Love Lip and Cheek Tint. So this is in the shade Blushed Rose. And I gotta say, not, not a big fan of these. Um, it's sort of like a, like a tint, like a tint, it's obviously a tint. It's like a, kind of like a gel blush tint that you can also use on your lips. Um, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I am considering making a video of my least favorite Charlotte Tilbury products, and uh, the, these would be on there. Not feeling this, okay? Just not feeling it. Um, okay, next, okay, this is good. We have the Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Bedroom Black. 
So I don't know why it says liquid because it's like not really liquid. It's just like an eyeliner. This is a really great eyeliner. I already have it. I use it all the time and I'm definitely happy to have a backup of it. Um, my favorite eyeliner used to be the Marc Jacobs Blacker, but Marc Jacobs Beauty doesn't exist anymore. So I am on the hunt for a new favorite um, black eyeliner to tight line with. So happy to have that. And that's kind of just a great staple product that's gonna work for everyone. Okay, next up we have one of her kissing lipsticks. And this is in the shade Stoned Rose. So I'm not gonna open this. I already have Stoned Rose. It's one of my favorite lipstick colors from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a video about it in some capacity, so I will leave that link down below. Really, really pretty shade. It's kind of like a, a neutral nude warmth to it that I think is really, really lovely. And we have two more items. So first up we have Full Fat Lashes. Um, so this is my least favorite mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I don't mind Pillow Talk, but my favorite is actually Legendary Lashes too. I just find this one dry and flaky, so not a fan. Um, and then we have the Pillow Talk Diamonds Lipstick and Lucky Diamonds. So I actually don't own any of these. Um, but these are kind of like a, we'll do a swatch. I'm gonna keep this. So you can kind of see the swatch there. It's like a very, very shimmery. You could wear it on its own, but you could also use it as a lipstick topper. Um, and the only reason I don't own any of these is honestly, when the launch came out, I think there were like a whole bunch of items in that launch, I think could be wrong. And just those particularly, I'm just gonna wipe that off my hand. I'm wearing a white sweater and don't really want <clears throat> that on my sweater. Um, anyways, when those came out, they just didn't really call to me, but definitely happy to give them a try. So for myself, out of this entire mystery box, um, I will definitely be keeping the Lucky Diamonds, the black eyeliner, the magic cream and where did it go and the pillow talk um luxury palette pops and then things that will be rehomed include uh stone rose the mascara the pillow talk blush uh the tinted love and probably the scent of a dream and then both of the two freebies I got will also be rehomed either through giveaways, um, Christmas gifts I might get friends and family, or again, selling them on my Poshmark. So that is what I got in this box. I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Um, first of all, her mystery boxes are great if you are somebody who is building your Charlotte Tilbury collection. I would say of this box, obviously there are a lot of items I already have and I love. Um, the only things that I'm not a fan of are the Tinted Love and the Mascara. Generally speaking, I find that her mystery boxes, that they're pretty curated and that she's not exactly trying to like shovel out unwanted product on you. I do feel that a little bit with that particular mascara and the tinted love. Um, I do feel a little bit like those were not selling so great and made their way into the mystery box. Um, but overall, there's a lot of really great staple products. You know, other people do like the palette of pops, so I am gonna try to warm myself to it. Let's have some tea. Stone Rose lipstick is beautiful. Perfume is beautiful. Like Magic Cream is iconic. You know, there's a whole bunch of really great products in this box. So if you are somebody who is new to Charlotte, there's really no better way to launch your collection than to grab a mystery box because you're gonna get just a nice mix of products across product lines. You're gonna get things that are generally pretty popular and generally pretty universally flattering um, that you're gonna be able to get a lot of enjoyment out of. And so yeah, if you're looking, if you're someone looking to build your collection, I think this is a great way to go. If you're somebody who is a beauty YouTuber uh, whose channel is nearly entirely dedicated to Charlotte and um, you have a makeup collection that like could, you know, an entire small town could probably use um, for a year or two, maybe this isn't for you, but if you are that person, AKA myself, um, you know, you probably wanna get this to share it with your viewers. So. I will say that of all the Charlotte Tilbury mystery boxes I've ordered, I'm gonna leave them all linked down below. Um, this is probably the most disappointing for me only because typically in these videos, I do say that her boxes are incredible and that she doesn't shovel unwanted products onto you, but it's hard not to feel that way about Tinted Love and the um, Full Fat Lashes mascara. So I am very curious to see what comes in the other mystery box. Again, I really debated between the two, but I felt like overall this would be a good value for me because I knew it was gonna come with magic cream. And I also knew that odds were there'd be a couple other things in there that I'd enjoy. And for me, it's always a great value being able to pass things on in giveaways um, or by gifting to friends and family. 
I also think this box is great because you know it really does increase the value when you're able to spend a certain amount and get those two, one, two, or three free items from Charlotte. So in that sense, you know, you kind of already have a good hint of what you're getting if you were to include um, the two items that I got for free. Overall, look, it's a great value. If you're looking to build your collection, you're not gonna go wrong. This is probably my least favorite mystery box that Charlotte has done. And that's not to say that it's a bad mystery box. That's just to say that um, I found some of her other ones are better. One criticism I've seen on some of my videos in the past about her mystery boxes is that people want more skincare for Charlotte. I will say that if you were looking for skincare, um, obviously this box, other than the magic cream of the nine items, doesn't really have any skincare. Um, you know, so just, just keep that in mind. I am really curious to see what's in the other mystery box. I'll be keeping an eye for videos on those. I was this close to ordering both, but then I'm like, Alana, don't be stupid. Like, you don't even need one of these. So I just ordered the bigger one. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it was enjoyable. And I hope if you haven't already that you will subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Now, one thing, two things, several things I do wanna share. It is almost December. So in December, I'm gonna be sharing a new video every single day about luxury makeup, luxury handbags, Christmas vlogging, all of that fun stuff. And sprinkled throughout those videos, we're gonna have a couple of giveaways. So you might be seeing some of these products in there. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I hope that you will join me for the month of December and I'll see you soon. Oh, and um, obviously I'm gonna leave these linked down below if you'd like to purchase them. They are available until November 30th at 3.59 a.m. EST. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.